From putting his life in danger by staying under the water to ending up getting caught in something he thought he'd never get caught in. Here is every challenge that Mr. Beast started off enthusiastically but couldn't complete it till the end and starting off by something as dangerous as you can imagine. What if I told you that you would get a hefty sum of money if you spend 24 hours underwater? Would you be up for it? For Mr. Beast, this was one of those things where he thought he would be able to pull it off. I'm going to attempt to sit underwater for 24 hours straight. However, this was not the case, and things didn't go as expected. He sat at the bottom of a backyard pool, using a bucket to breathe. But unfortunately, things became a bit too hazardous at this point, and Mr. Beast started to feel the pressure of the challenge, which you can see here as well. How oh, well you guys are gonna be able to see this, but... Jimmy got himself inside the water around half past 11 a.m. and had to emerge almost 12 hours later, owing to severe seasickness. At the end of the video, a worried Jimmy says frankly, this was a terrible idea. Yes, but that is true for all of the best physical difficulties. Dude, the pads on my fingers are so, like, they feel so weird. It's literally shaking. Stop shaking, you're annoying me. This was a horrible idea. I Without a single doubt, this was one of the hardest challenges that Mr. Beast has ever done. However, he couldn't complete it till the end and had to come outside. But you won't believe what happened in this particular challenge. This is a professional bounty hunter, and if he successfully hunts me down, he gets $100,000. That's right. As you can see in the title of his video, to get hunted down by a bounty hunter was something Mr. Beast was not looking for. For a guy who can hide himself pretty much anywhere, this was not a big of a deal. However, that's not how it all went down. It's gonna be the craziest chase ever. I have a helicopter lined up, a dozen cars. I have everything. He is not hunting me. Despite having the confidence in himself, Jimmy thought that he would be able to make it till the end. But as one can guess, this was not his lucky day. He thought of pretty much everything, from renting cars and a helicopter to even avoiding getting caught by locking himself up in a huge vault. Self in. Don't worry, just trust me. Okay. My safe. This is one of the most secure vaults in the entire world. What the heck? It all seemed like a big successful plan that was about to be accomplished and reach its end goal only before things started to go against it. How? Take a look. Hey. <laughs> what do you think would have happened next? Well, your guess is as good as mine. Unfortunately, he couldn't complete this challenge as he got caught by the bounty hunter who won his prize of a whopping $100,000. Now it's great to have confidence in yourself, but sometimes things can turn in a way that you did not expect, and maybe you should be ready for the unexpected. Another challenge where Mr. Beast and his team couldn't complete a challenge was when they had to spend 24 hours in an insane asylum. We will be spending 24 hours in this insane asylum. Now, the creepy atmosphere and psychological toll of being in such a strange place made this task even more challenging. But the team seemed good, and the morale was high to win the challenge. Whatever team survives the longest gets 10 grand. Last thing we are doing different is there to be no deals. Of course, the challenge was not as easy as it seemed to everyone who participated, and things quickly began to turn bad for the teams. Security! <laughs> it's only been 10 minutes. Uh, if fall, please go back down. Go back down! Initially, Jimmy and his friends were confident and in good spirits. However, as the hours passed, the loneliness, creepiness of the environment, and isolation began to take a toll on their mental state. The combination of fear and fatigue made it increasingly difficult to stay, especially for Chris and Chandler. And uh, um, I tore my labrum and my shoulder like popped out of socket and it really hurts. Taylor, yeah, I'm going home. My ears. My ears really Eventually, the team decided to call it quits before the 24-hour mark, prioritizing their safety and mental well-being. But probably one of the hardest and shocking challenges that Mr. Beast ever tried to take part in, but couldn't make it till the end, was this one. 
I am not eating any food for the next 30 days. In an extreme test of willpower, Mr. Beast attempted to go 30 days without eating any food, consuming only water. The challenge aimed to test his physical and mental endurance, as well as raise awareness about the struggles of those who go hungry daily. Although, he started off strong. Well, I, in this moment, I am contemplating shaving my head so I can eat some nachos. Those look really good. <laughs> Jimmy, who started out hopeful and determined, documenting his adventure and updating his audience, soon began to take the toll of the challenge on his health. And as the days passed, the lack of sustenance started showing its effects on Jimmy's health. Recording some videos for the Reacts channel, and it really just... It drained me, man. I keep my eyes open. I'm on a couch in the, the studio, and I'm literally just sleeping. I'm going to bed. While filming with Gordon Ramsay, I was trying to stay upbeat, but I was really dying on the inside. Which At this point, you can see yourself that Mr. Beast was not in his full action, as he usually is in his challenges. At this point, it was clear for everyone that Jimmy was feeling weakness, dizziness, and difficulty concentrating. This was the time when he thought to just quit the challenge because of how difficult it was getting for him. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> that does smell good. That's so I, you're going to make me cry. <laughs> After so roughly two weeks, he knew that extending the fast would be bad for his health and took the painful decision to terminate the challenge early. Technically because of refeeding syndrome, but I still want to just taste it. So you're breaking the fast? I'm going to break the fast. It's supposed to be sloppy rich, delicious. I love it. <laughs> so, what lesson was learned? What do you think? Let us know. What are your thoughts on it in the comments below? But what happens when your team isn't able to pull a challenge off and call it quit? Well, it was the time when Mr. Beast did the world's largest bowl challenge. So what exactly was this challenge? Here's the deal, Chris. I want you to go find someone random in public and they're going to compete for you. Same with you, Chandler. Same with you, Jake. This was an ambitious challenge where Mr. Beast and his buddies attempted to make and consume the world's largest bowl of cereal in another audacious quest. The idea was to fill a large container with cereal and milk, then eat as much of it as possible. Morale is strong. Uh, still got a lot of willpower left. All right, so how do you feel right now? One hour. But what started as a great challenge soon turned into something that everybody didn't see coming and started struggling right at the very instant. I, I can do that. Are, are you sure you want to get out? The hypothermia, man. Uh While the challenge began with excitement, the sheer amount of cereal and milk soon became overpowering and the participants started to get out of the big bowl one by one. Oh gosh, you smell like urine and milk. Apart from that, the team faced practical challenges, such as keeping the cereal fresh and the milk cool. Furthermore, staying in such a significant amount of food was too much for themselves to tolerate. Despite their best efforts, they were unable to stay inside the cereal, demonstrating that even enjoyable tasks can provide unanticipated problems. However, the same happened in one of his other challenges. Carnival. I'm gonna be the main attraction standing for 24 hours straight. Let's go. Attempted to stand still for 24 hours straight. The concept was deceptively simple. Stand in one place without moving throughout the entire day. However, this challenge gradually became a true test of endurance and patience and seemed like Mr. Beast wasn't enjoying it much. <laughs> to be real though, he looks like Abraham Lincoln. You do look like Abraham Lincoln. Buddy. Though he tried his best to complete the challenge, since it wasn't entertaining enough, he thought to call it quits. We're put up at our wedding. Thank you, guys. So we kept up this statue thing, but to be honest, it wasn't super entertaining. So I but one thing can definitely be said here. Mr. Beast's determination to test the limits of human endurance and ingenuity has fascinated millions of spectators worldwide. While he has successfully completed many tasks, the ones he has not completed reflect a more human aspect to the YouTube celebrity. If you'd like to watch more of our videos, then hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to ring the bell icon to never miss out on any update. See you next time.